got to tell you, that this one, I uh, can't tell you how often I'm asked this. It's why am I not getting why, what I need or what I want out of my AI investment? I got a data lake and I got all this data. AI cannot generate good results from bad data. It's just not going to happen. That's a leap that it's not capable of. It has to have data. When we look at AI and we look at investing in AI, the goal, what we're trying to get out of it, number one, critically important, needs to be very clearly defined, very well defined. And within that definition, it has to be specific in terms of the inputs required to get there. And, you know, there may be a, um, uh, option A, we have these five pieces of critical data. Or option B, we have these seven pieces, a little bit different. That's okay. There, there might be more than one path to get to your end result. And, and look at those, see what they are. But each of those needs to be defined in terms of the discrete data that you need, the information going into that AI engine, that algorithm, so that it can do its job. So when we say, well, wh why am I not getting what I want out of my AI? Well, it could be that the algorithms are off. It could be that the you know people that helped implement it didn't understand. Or frankly, from my experience now, 30 years in dealing with asset intensive industries, it's probably because your data doesn't support the result. Why is that? We have in the US, Europe as well, been early adopters of technology. And we we started off with the novelty of just being able to track things in technology. And then we grew in a haphazard manner, um, thinking that capturing volumes of data was something better, right? There's more of it, therefore it's better. Technology grew around that concept of purely data capture. And what we're realizing today, especially with, if you're if you're in reliability, you, you've already known this for a long time. And if you're in AI, you, you realize this every day, that it, quantity of data does not necessarily get you where you need to be, it's the quality of the data, and specifically those data points that you need. And so we, we're in this time where we are now recognizing that the truth of the matter is that we probably don't need a data lake. And yet you may have already spent $15 million on it. You probably don't need it. More than likely, what you really need is to redefine the screens and the data points you're capturing in your existing applications. You probably can lose half of the data and it will make no difference to the business in terms of the end result other than it actually streamlined it so that AI now has some good data to work with. And also what we find incidentally is that if I present a technician whose number one job is to make sure that that asset is repaired or does not fail, and I give them 30 data fields where five are really critical, um, I'm gonna be lucky to get one or two of those accurate critical data fields. And if I present them with five data fields where five are critical, I've found that I'm going to get five quality data elements in return because they recognize it's important. They know that that's what matters. And it also shows that we respect their time and their intelligence and what they're doing. And we find that working with the technician the way they work. When I say we, meaning the technology that we're configuring and deploying, that Maximo Mobile or whatever flavor it is that we're putting in their hands, we make that work the way they work. We ask them only for the critical data that really matters. We get great data. And in return, what they have the next time that they go out to look at that asset, they have a good historical reference to look back on and they see value in that as well. So we wanna to get to good AI we have to put good tools in the hands of the technicians who know what they did, when they did it, why they did it, and also the three other things that you didn't even know needed, needed work orders that day that they did on the fly, and you want all of that data captured. And the only way you're gonna get that is by putting a better tool that is efficient in operation into the hands of those people who are the smartest in your asset management organization. They will build you the data set that will allow AI to do what you need it to do. Start with the technicians, AI will come to fruition. Love to hear your thoughts.
questions, comments below. Thank you.